Having a perfect dog is so much more achievable than people think. And as a canine behaviorist, I've helped thousands of people achieve their perfect canine companion. I'm going to share with you the top tips you can do easily every day to set you up for huge success. And even better, you can get them all done first thing in the morning. And as I believe so strongly in these tips, they're the exact things I do with my own dogs every morning. The first tip is the importance of exercising your dog, but it doesn't need to take loads of time out of your day. You have to find creative ways to quickly burn energy from your dog. The best way by far is to teach your dog a game of fetch. But if your dog doesn't like fetch, then my top tip is to find ways to let your dog do the thing it was bred for. If it's a sight hound or a hunter, buy a law course. If it's a protection dog, practice those skills. If it's a scent dog, hide their favorite items and have them go searching. And what's great is that five to 10 minutes of this will be the equivalent of hours of normal walking. And you have to understand that a tired dog is a better behaved dog and a tired dog is a happy dog. Taking your dog out for a loose lead walk, not only does it make the act of taking your dogs for a walk a much more pleasant experience for you, but it's also much more enjoyable for your dogs. It provides much better physical exercise and mental stimulation for your dogs, but it has massive widespread ramifications because for them to be walking by my side on a loose lead means they have to be paying attention. They have to be looking up to me for guidance and direction. And we can use that in every single aspect and area of our dog's lives, which means that I can navigate them through exactly what it is that I need them to do and exactly what it is that I need them not to do, which is what means you can have a dog be beautifully behaved no matter what situation you find yourself in. The next tip is a huge wasted opportunity if you're not doing this every single day. Don't waste meal times. Take your dog's rations for the day and put them in a training pouch. That way, you're always ready and able to reward your dog for doing the right thing. Come back when called, pay. Listening to commands, pay. Eye contact, pay. There are endless opportunities to reward your dog and often we are quick to punish the undesirable behavior but far too slow to reward the desirable behavior. Socializing your dogs is of incredible importance, but it's not just any socialization. It's not just letting your dogs do what they want when they want. We need to take them to different circumstances, different situations, different environments, but not just do that. You need to do it with purpose. And the purpose is to help them gradually be able to not just remain calm, in those different situations, but more importantly, to be able to look up to you for guidance and direction in those situations. It's impossible to be able to socialize your dog to absolutely everything, but what we can do is socialize them to as much as possible and help them understand that no matter what they come across, they look up to us for guidance and direction. So when they do come across something that's making them nervous or making them anxious or making them fearful, their reset button is look up to you for guidance and direction. That then gives you the opportunity to communicate to them what it is that you do want from them, what it is that you don't want from them, and you're able to keep your dog calm, content, happy, and well behaved in any given situation or circumstance. Now in this short morning walk with Uncle Sully and Queen Eileen, I've provided great exercise. I've worked on loose lead walking. I've socialized them to a new place and found plenty of opportunity to reward desirable behavior, setting us up for an amazing day.